to what I found in the mainstream medical community, which I feel like is what you're talking about and duplicated in the alternative world, is the ability to say, I don't know. Almost that point. Right? I, I like, and to be willing to um, work collaborative, collaborative, you know what I'm trying to yeah, say. Yeah, collaboratively with everybody. And that's the truth. You know, a lot of our therapists out of here, um, we all realize that there's so much great knowledge that we have between all of our therapists. Uh -huh. So um, no one's ever really stepping on anyone else's toes. We all realize that everybody has a great avenue to contribute from. Right. So as I was saying before, if a therapist is here, is working with a client for two or three sessions and they notice, you know what, this isn't really getting us in the direction that we want to. They notice a few other avenues that could be explored. They'll put them with that therapist. And, who, and then I've seen two, three sessions, complete 180. They're getting better. So um, what's great is we realize that not one method is the end all be all for everything. And that's how it is with every modality in here. Just because one modality works well for one person under some circumstance doesn't mean it's going to work well for another individual, um, which is really why we um, really rely heavily on each other, um, which is really nice um, where I don't have to be the only therapy option when someone walks in here. If, if someone walks in here and I know my therapy isn't going to be beneficial, I have a great therapist that I can refer them to who's going to do the job yeah. because I don't want to waste anybody's time or money. Um, neither does anybody and anyone else. It's all yeah. about facilitating well-being of the individual. You guys do an amazing job with that. I love your model.